I reached my threshold. Okay, so I earned. Hi guys, this is Rui. I'm back in my Makinis na. Kili kili. Hey! Kita ba? Ngayon lang tayo ulit nagsilibla so pakita na natin. Hey! Anyway, so I know that you guys are not here for that because if you guys have already read the video and clicked through this video, you probably already know kung para saan or kung anong topic natin. So if you ka- Hindi ka lalabas ba ba? If you guys want to know how much you earned ko from my first YouTube sweldo and of course kung gaano katagal at kung ilang videos mo kailangan mo bago mo ma-reach yon at kung paano ko siya nakuha just keep on watching. Before we start I just wanted to invite you to subscribe to my channel and follow me on my other social media platforms if you haven't. Usually mga na-upload ko super sabog, gay couple videos, weekly vlogs and mga Bud. But now I'm gonna be more educational because I wanna help out other small YouTubers like me. And if gusto niyo naman na mag skip through or may hinahanap kayong sagot, just go to the timestamps below. It's para mapuntahan niyo na hindi niyo na ako panood and mag dal dal. So yung video na to guys, just to be clear, I won't be discussing how to get monetized. The first question that I wrote here is, every when do you get paid? This question is honestly very subjective. So how you think na natin is yung YouTube rules. I have my laptop here. I'm just gonna quickly Google it para tama talaga yung masabi ko sa inyo. This is according to YouTube support or Google support, YouTube help, whatever. I'm just gonna link it below if you guys want to read it for yourselves. But the first one is it says your earnings reach your local payment threshold. So sa Philippines yung local threshold natin is one hundred dollars. So threshold meaning yun yung minimum na kailangan. Parang in other words quota. Yun yung quota mo bago mo ma withdraw yung money. Tapos yung next naman dun is in terms of date. YouTube is gonna pay you at the end of the month as long as na reach mo yung threshold the month before. So for example. Na reach ko yung one hundred dollars na March. Makukuha ko yung money na yon end of April. Gets ba? Here's how it looks. So sa Creator Studio mo, punta ka sa analytics mo and then sa revenue and then you'll see there your monthly earning. Meron dyan parang naka month by month siya. Tapos makikita mo dun kung how much na yun na earn mo. Tapos pwede mo rin i-check yung lifetime para makita mo kung magkano na yung lifetime earning mo. And then after that, you go to your AdSense, your AdSense account para makita mo kung magkano na yung pumasok sa AdSense mo. And in your AdSense account naman, papasok lang dun yung money mo every 10 to 14th of the month. For example, nakalagay sa Creator Studio mo na by March naka-earn ka ng $20, papasok yung $20 na yun sa April 10 to 14. Okay? Okay. So again, unless you reach $100, wala po kayo matatanggap kay YouTube as well. So essentially, kung first month mo pa lang na-reach mo na yung $100, good for you, lucky you. Kasi ibig sabihin nun, sa next month mo ng pag-YouTube, makakakuha ka na ng money. How long did it take for me to reach my threshold? Kasi ito guys, kaya ko ito ni-note down. Kasi iba-iba talaga per YouTuber. Kasi I've been searching, I've been Googling, I've honestly compared my own timing sa iba. Kasi ang dami kong pinanood. Tapos yun pala, ang dami niyang factors according to my research. Depende siya sa niche mo. Kasi kunyari, kung yung topic mo, yung industry mo is finance, yun yung pinakamataas na revenue. Kasi mataas yung bayad ng mga ads doon. Tapos lalo na dahil sa Philippines, mas maliit din yung bayad. So kung yung target market mo is US, lucky you again kasi medyo mas mataas yung payment ng mga advertisers na from the US. In my case, I reached my threshold a year after I got monetized. So guys, I got monetized March of 2020. As in one year, sakto, March 2021 ko na-reach yung $100 by end of March. So ngayong April, doon ko palang nakuha yung money. Guys, papapagawa Pakita ko lang sa inyo muna yung sa how long did it take to reach my my threshold. Kailangan ko sa inyo pakita yung monthly na na-earn ko. Right? One year. Like seriously, one year? So isipin nyo, isang taon ka walang kinikita. So yeah, I got my first payment on April 21. April 21, US date to ah. Pero Philippine date, it's April 22. Sabihin lang niya na we sent a payment for Romney Rando YouTube earnings on April 21, 2021. And integrate ko lang yung bank account ko. Tapos pumasok na siya diretso sa bank account ko. So no problem at all. Again, I'm not gonna discuss to you guys how to activate your AdSense. But I can probably, if you guys want me to help you with that. Comment lang kayo sa baba. Gawin natin yan. And then next, I'm gonna show you guys kung bakit one year. Bakit? isang taon like seriously I am at 9,866 subscribers so dun ko lang nakuha yung pera okay so I'll go to my analytics again and then revenue 
So March 2020, March alone, I earned $22, $22.18 to be exact. So I monetize ako March 3. I like, applied ako for monetization March 3. Then so within hours na na approve ako, which again I'll show you a screenshot. And then April pandemic, I only earned $2.47 for a month long content. May, I earned $0.95. For June, $0.95. And then July, $0.52. August, $4.31. Then November, bigla pong umangat. Yung trend niya talaga gumanon siya during the pandemic. So yung number three question ko is how much did I get from my first sweldo? So ito na yun. I'll be showing you guys how much I earned. So in dollars muna tayo. So ito yung magsha-show up sa Google Ads sense ko. Tara, load na! Porting internet! <laughs> yung ending balance ko is 108.84. I think may babawas pa dun si bank. Okay, so I earned 5,119 pesos for one year. <laughs> and yung last question is, do I think it's worth it to do YouTube as a full-time job? Now, so for me, Hindi siya worth it maging full-time job if you're not as big as other YouTubers and if you're not hitting $100 threshold every month. Kasi the thing is, with YouTube, it's super unpredictable. Parang yung panahon ngayon, hindi mo alam kung kailan mag ECQ ulit. Yung bills mo, dumadating monthly. Pero yung in earn mo sa YouTube, hindi ka sure kung matatanggap mo siya this month. Siguro soon, kung hindi mo skip yung ads nito, para kayo na ang aking official sugar daddy. <laughs> so I uploaded a total of 55 videos. Yung 5K divided by 55 videos. 90 pesos per video. Diba? Isipin nyo yung mga video na to, yung iba dito, travel vlog. Lahat ng ginawa ko doon sa vlog na yun, magkano ba yun? Haul videos, kano ba yung total ng binili ko sa Shopee? There's just so many things as if you also take into consideration na 5K divided by 12 mo, that's 416 pesos. Yung editing mo, yung pagod mo sa pag-edit, pagod mo sa pag-shoot. Yung laptop ko na pinag-editan ko, how much? Ilang hours din ako consume yung internet plus yung kuryente. So, sobrang daming factor. Yun lang naman. Again, I'm not trying to discourage anyone. If anything, gusto ko kayo i-push. It's for everyone. So start ka na ng YouTube. Start ka na. Money, money, money. I just want to explain how YouTube works. It's like a billboard. Kung yung billboard mo is nasa EDSA or nasa somewhere na ma-traffic, so madaming taong makakakita, para maglagay ka ng picture mo dyan sa billboard na yan, mahal. Compare mo yun, billboard na nasa eskinita lang, konti lang yung nakakakita, mura lang. Kasi kapag kinumpare mo yun, parang ito, pag naglagay ka dito ng picture mo, 10 lang yung makakakita in a day. Ito, pag dito ka naglagay ng picture mo, 100 yung tao na makakakita in one day. Ganun siya. If you have any questions, comment it below. If you want me to do a part 2, maybe how I got monetized, let me know, let me know, let me know. And hopefully you didn't skip the ads. Thank you so much for watching and this has been Bree, your average guy who's about to sky rocket. Thank you guys and vlog vlog lang tayo. Vlog vlog vlog. <laughs> Bye. For it kisses. And <laughs> Bye. If I can lay down beside you, I would, I would. When nothing really matters, that's all I want